Hey guys, Brewer 65 back at it again. Today, Saturday, the 19th of July. Um, a black chocolate stout just poured it out of the tap. And uh, I believe I got my keg system balanced well. And, uh, mm, tasty beer. Yeah, today, um, all day long, um, I got I put a new um, inlet hose, uh, clear plastic hose on my uh, <clears throat> inlet from my water into my filter. We got rid of that the other five foot garden piece. Ah, I just was still even though my beer was tur turning out good, um, I wanted to get rid of uh, that last garden piece. So I did that this morning. Um, I am going to be brewing um, a. Um, well, I consider it a Blue Moon clone. Um, I've made it before, and uh, really not that many, not that much ingredients in it. Um, and um, what are we using here? We're using uh, White Labs uh, WLP 400. It's a uh, Belgian wood ale yeast. Um, I am going to. Um, I didn't make a starter last night because I want to try <coughs> something different. I like to think outside the box. Um, you know, I could take the tube and just pitch it once I get uh, everything brewed. Um, and yeah, it would probably work. Um, or I could have gone last night and made a, a starter uh, with my, um, um, whatever the hell it's called. Um, <clears throat> put it on the store plate. Uh, but I was afraid I'd wake up and, um, and it would be all over the place. Um, so I decided, well, the first thing I'll do this morning is get that started. And then by the time I'm ready to pitch, it should be probably five hours or so. So, um, that should, uh, I'm, it's kind of a happy medium. I'm not doing just the pitching of the tube. I'm not making a, you know, a starter a day or two ahead of time. Um, so, uh, we'll see how that goes. But, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm looking, I was looking at, I wanted to do this because of the uh, the summer hot. Um, I mean, the black chocolate stout and the old English ale are great, but um, a little bit more difficult to drink in the summer hot summer day. So, uh, and because of the fact that this is, uh, I'll do this batch, and then next week I'll do the same batch and just pitch on top of that yeast cake. Because um, I don't know what else to do with that uh, yeast strain. And um, last time I've done this uh, beer. It turned out real good, so um, I made some adjustments. I'm gonna up the uh, the the uh, what am I gonna up? Uh, the uh, orange peel, the sweet orange peel. I'm adding a little bit more of that. I'm also adding. I looked at my other recipe when I brewed this last a while back, and for some reason I I, I upped my cor coriander seed. So I'm gonna do that too, <clears throat> and just see what how it turns out. Um, I, I want to mash at 154, and I am again uh, going to mash for 90 minutes, uh, and uh, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. Cheers, 17. I'll come back when uh, I'm doing something else is going on here. I've got nothing set up, got nothing clean. Although I do have my sanitizer in, in my bucket, so I can get all start getting all that stuff ready to go. And I haven't even gotten my weighed out my grains or anything, so I got to do that too. It's gonna be a long day. But that's why I brew all grain, because I love it. All right. Okay. Well, uh, I have um, got my ingredients all weighed out. Um, I've got my um, starter, if you will, spinning on the uh, stir bar with the stir bar, not on the stir bar. Stir bar is inside of it. And uh, I'm getting ready to uh, fill up my uh, root kettle with my all of my water and get this thing st started. Um, hopefully uh, it will turn out good. Um, just got done, uh, um, like I said, uh, well, hell, let me show you. So I've got my, um, in here, I've got uh, four pounds of uh, Maris Otter 
uh, three pounds of uh, wheat malt and two pounds of flaked wheat. And then I'm going to be using uh, halfway through the or for only a 30 minute boil um, northern pellets, half ounce of that. Then I've got uh, I'm going to be using this, which is a uh, sweet orange bittering peel. I've got an ounce and a half of that, and I've got two ounces of crushed coriander seed. So, and of course my We'll come over here. That's working. So I'll uh, just keep it going until I uh, get ready to pitch it. All right. See ya. All right. Drain the mash ton into the brew kettle. We're boiling. Time to cool off. Okay guys, well, it's been a long day. Um, give you a closing thoughts on this. Uh, my original gravity ended up being 1037. Eh, a little bit low. Um, lower than I wanted it to be. Um, it's fermenting right now. Um, the, I got bubbles in the airlock, so um, I'm just gonna let it go. Um, gotta think about this. Um, I think last time I did this recipe, um, I think my original gravity was uh, 42, so it's definitely um, quite a bit lower than, than that. But, um, you know, if she f ferments out to zero, zero, then not so bad. If she finishes at 15, then that's a bad thing. So, <laughs> uh, time will tell, actually. Uh, so, I'll wait a week. And uh, next week, again, I'll, I'll do the same recipe um, and transfer this uh, that into... You know, I'll transfer this into this batch into secondary, and then next week's batch will go into the primaries uh, yeast cake, um, and uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I have to I have to go back in my head and see uh, exactly what could have gone wrong. I did. Uh, I know after I uh, I mashed in, um, uh, checked the the temperature. Um, I was a little high. I actually threw in actually threw in four cups of cold water to bring it back down because I want my target was mm, what was my target uh, 154, I think, and um, I, I think when I after doughing in, um, I think it was like around 157, 158. It's like no, 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 this is not where I want to be. So. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I added four cups of cold water, and um, I think that brought it back down to 154, but uh, things move so fast, I, I just I just went ahead and, and, you know, shut the lid on the cooler and, and just let it go for 90 minutes, so we'll see. Um, I mean, if it tastes great... Um, you know, then the worst case is that it's just, you know, lower in alcohol, uh, which is fine. It's a summer beer anyway. Um, so, um, anyway, that's all I got. Guys, uh, appreciate you watching. And, uh, washing? No. Watching. That's it. Watching. Um, yeah, I don't want a beer with me. So, uh, appreciate you. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do this too many times. Um, anyway. Thanks again, and uh, cheers, 17. Oh. <clears throat> One more thing. This is the next day, Sunday. Um, as you saw, um, I've got good active fermentation in the airlock as of this morning also. And uh, 
we'll see how long that goes. Um, but um, you know, I think every time we brew, we learn. Well, at least for me, uh, because it is still, um, I'm still kind of uh, back at it again. Um, we got a lot of things I got to learn about as far as my system goes. Um, and uh, one thing I thought of was, you know, when I got done mashing, I only ended up with six gallons. And um, I should have had, I should have had more. Um, where did it say it? Um, Well, I should have had more than six gallons, I believe. Um, I don't see it on here. Anyway, um, so for that reason, <clears throat> I remember I did um, did not do a major vigorous boil, um, which so I could get more um, in the fermenter. Um, you know, if I would have ended up with five gallons in the fermenter, then that would have been less than five gallons after it was all said and done in the keg. So I didn't, I didn't do a real vigorous boil. Uh, so that's one reason why I could have been, uh, my original gravity could have been you know, lower than it should have been. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> There were some other things uh, that concerned me as far as, you know, uh, doughing in and then, you know, according to the calculations of, um, of the brewing software, um, should have hit my target mash, which I didn't. That's why I had to add some, uh, you know, four cups of cold water, try to burn it down. Um, so I just got to kind of... Um, Hone in on my um, what I'm doing here, um, but yeah, it, um, a lot of things to consider. But you know, you know, every time I, I brew, I'll I'll uh, it'll get better, and uh, once it becomes more of a routine, um, then I won't worry about it so much. But uh, those were the only couple things that that had me concerned was the fact that you know once I dove in, I did not hit my mash temp. Um, although I think I did that with the uh, Old English Ale, um, so I don't know. I just uh, I just have to. I might have to, to go into um, into the um, what am I using here? Um, into the uh, brewer software, if you will. Um, what am I thinking of? I don't know. Um, I can't think of the name of what I use here. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I might have to go in there and, and, and tweak my, uh, equipment profile, uh, to, uh, to maybe, uh, put in a, more of a loss, especially from the mash. Because I think I lost, I, I think I lost a lot more in the mash than I, than I anticipated. So, anyway, again, that's it. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, cheers, seventeen. And uh, we'll do it again next week with the second batch. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. See ya.